And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10 at the 28-yard line. First down throw, Kelly. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. And now it's second down. It's now second and 10. To throw again, Kelly. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Chris Godwin with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT. And it's now 21 to nothing. Gonzalez set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And some dangerous territory. Already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. the play fake. Here's Ryan. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Kamala Correa gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. So the sack pushes him back and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And take it right on the 30. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And I don't want to read too much into this, but with their lead, are we seeing the fruits of having last week off? Is that the benefit here? Well, we've seen so many times where we don't think there are fruits to that because the visiting team who had played the week before, they come in with momentum and they play well and set the pace. And sometimes it seems like, you know, the teams have the open week, the bye week are a little bit sluggish. But in this case, I think all the advantages that you fight for have come into play. They've healed up the guys who were hurt during the season they got to rest mentally. They were able to relax a little bit. And they're at home, and they've used it quite well to their advantage. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there, picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first down, it's Kelly. That's going to be caught. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Mike Evans with his second touchdown here in this first half as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. 
It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. Same Gonzalez. Now, after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep, and he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Matt Ryan and the Falcons getting ready to go again here on offense. He and his team, they have had a rough go of it here in this first half. Maybe time for him to put his foot down here in the second quarter. Put his foot down and become a little more accurate throwing the football. He's already thrown two interceptions. He's trying to find a way to equal things out, and instead of it going to the opponents, get it to his own receivers and find the end zone. Yeah, you mentioned those two picks. So no touchdown passes yet either. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Operating from the gun. Ryan. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. The Falcons on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. This is taken at the 18. A very good return that time. 18 yards. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Mike Evans, he's going to go. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bucks offense continuing to pour it on. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats, but what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because the guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down, he's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. St. Gonzalez set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Todd Gurley heading back out along with the rest of the Atlanta offense. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Vita Vea able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Kamale Correa. Picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. 
And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Sterling Hoffrichter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Pulled in at the 24. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Falcons, nothing. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. Mike Evans and the rest of the offensive unit heading back out there now. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could... And got his man complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. That one goes for 30 yards. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But it's understandable. They've been shredded so far. And a scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Brings up second and 10. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 30. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A 14-yard touchdown. And this Buccaneer offense, they're running away with this one. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. Yeah, I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. And he's got it up and through. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Zane Gonzalez set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. It's player spotlight time, and we focus that spotlight on the quarterback, Matt Ryan. And this is unfortunately for him a montage he's probably not going to want to keep here for his files. And I'm not so sure that he would describe it as a spotlight, although it is beating down on him pretty well, as is the rush. He's been hit, harassed, uncomfortable. It's been a really, really tough day for him. Been sacked six times. See all that pressure coming from all angles. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He gives to Gurley. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Ryan throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Kamale Correa. 
Giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? They just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche that's coming right on top of them. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. Mike Evans, he's gonna go. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 58 yards. And this Buccaneer offense is running away with this one. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Zane Gonzalez set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Throwing again. Ryan. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards. Now it's third and five. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He'll drop this underneath to Gurley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. To Todd Gurley. It's a game. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. But well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And this will be a Falcons first down as good running gets him to about the 44. The tackle made at the I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Now Gurley. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 10 more there and another first down. And a nice little broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him, that full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball in the backfield. 
Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> They're seeing the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Here's Ryan. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Gurley. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the Buccaneers 24 yard line. Operating from the gun, Ryan. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. Third down and 10 yards to go. Ryan will throw again. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. No gain at all on the play there, and that'll bring up fourth down. That goes in the category of a play that the defense is going to cherish and excites them. A completion, yes, and give up the pass, but no gain. I mean, that's exactly what you want on defense. It sets up the fourth down. Makes the score Buccaneers 49, Falcons 3. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg, and they're at least trying to finish out strong. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats next week for a game to go to the Super Bowl. And it's contrary to our meeting with the, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game, and one of the themes that kept hitting us with was, let's put the pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's, let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. Seven yards there at a first down. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. They run the counter. Coleman. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards on the play, first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's another Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And then when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Oh, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. The week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Down 
yard rush in the regular season, got his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning basically saying that they would not have won the division without him, and he's not their only piece, but I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main cop. Gonzalez to add the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that one an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. Zane Gonzalez set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And they knew this would be tough on the road, divisional round, and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Second and four. From the gun, Ryan. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. He was looking for Todd Gurley. And that'll bring up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 39. They give him 14 yards that time. And a Ryan hit, and he lost the football. But the Falcons were able to recover, so they will keep possession. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of... Yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Over the middle complete. It's Jones. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. The Buccaneers are moving on in these playoffs as we say thanks for watching and so long.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.